All right, welcome. Today we're gonna go over how to make a acne thread. And what you can see here is we have our major diameter, 2.25, how many threads per inch, two. Our type, which is an acne. And right here, this is left-handed. So, so far, all of our threads have been going down to the right. That way, when you turn it to the right, it's righty tighty lefty loosey as the saying goes but this one's actually going to come up to the right and that's actually going to be lefty tighty righty loosey so it's backwards so whenever you see this LH that means it's a left handed thread and we have a length of six so what I've done so far drawn a major diameter which is 2.25 our length so we have the box in which the drawing fits in next thing we need to do is come down half P so what is PP is 1 over 2 it's always 1 over the number of threads per inch and half of that would be 1 fourth so I'm gonna come down actually I'm gonna hit O for offset 1 over 4 and offset this guy 1 fourth now what we have to do is draw our lines we're gonna make a little grid here and you'll see why this works in a second so what we have to do is go over half P as well so if I just draw a line 1 over 4 come straight down and copy it. So we get these nice squares here. And I'm going to stop there because it's just, it's just going to repeat itself. And then what you do, luckily we are working in AutoCAD. If we were to draw this, we'd draw another line that would bisect this. But we don't need to do that because we have midpoint snap. So, make sure the midpoint snap is on. There it is, midpoint snap. And I want you to turn your polar tracking to 15. Alright, so we're at 15. And go to that first line. And what you're going to do is go up 15, over, up 15, down 15. And you just keep doing this back and forth. Make sure you don't snap to that 30. That would be bad. So you can see every time we're just mirroring the last group. So it's 15 and 15. That's because we want the whole thing to be 30. So if we did from here to here, that should be a nice 30 degree angle and we can check that right now 30 yep looks good alright so these guys were just markers and you gotta think of this again three dimensionally so if we trim this up trim this up trim this up trim that up get rid of these vertical lines Kind of see where this is going. Trim it up. Trim it up. Delete all this. Trim it up. And I'm going to copy this down now. there again we can just delete these lines now fill in the blanks co copy right down to the end all right now unlike before where you kind of have to do an offset to get that slope angle for the bottom this is kind of nice because all you have to do 
is literally copy the same exact profile. So I'm going to grab all of this. I'm going to copy this straight down, just like that, and then hit delete. So there's our profile. So what we see here is we have our crests, which are the highest points, major diameter, major diameter, crests, crests, roots, roots. And if we were to do a right-handed thread, we just simply come down here and play connect the dots down to the right, but since it's a left-handed thread, we go up. This way, that reverses the thread pattern, so crest to crest, crest to crest, so inside, root to root, root to root, and once you get one, CO copy, and bam, all the way down. Oh, particularly this is my favorite of the threads look how beautiful that is and you have to know how to do this for the lovely and sometimes dreaded loco screwjack right there that is a 2.25 major diameter two threads per inch acme left-handed thread that is six inches long and you know how to add the end on here we could add a nice little finish here for the shaft also throw in a throw in a center line and this would be completed.